CBC Automotive back. Um, this is a TRD Avion. Sorry about the wind, it's been very windy. This one is 46. This one is a nice one. This one has the Sport, the TRD Sport. So you see the bit, it has a little bit more fatter um, muff ears to it. And it has those little ray stuff on it. So the muff ears is more like, more sound and you hear how it sounds. It sounds more louder. So this is the um, trunk. I'm not gonna close it down. It's kind of dirty. It looks real nice and white though. And then you got the wheels. These are 19 inch wheels. You got the, the brakes are upgraded for performance brakes. So they upgrade the brakes. These are 19. They're more wider too, so they're more grip the road. So this is the inside of it. We got the Red Bell, the JBL sound system in here. So in here is, it is very nice though. Um, that your egg room at 5 a.m. so you know what I mean? Then over here is all nice and soft touch. You got your LD light right there. Over here, you got your cup holders, but no pass through though, because these seats can fold down. I got the red seat belt and the red station in here. And I got the red carpet mats too, that you charge for your, your um, vents. So it's pretty nice back here. There should be a cute heated seats in the back because it is very cold. Um, this feels really nice and high quality though. I like this. And then you got either cup right there too. And I got the little station right here too. So you know what I mean? That, that nice little station. So we're going to have to the front. See how the front is. So this is the inside of it. I mean, you know what I mean? You got station right here. You all your soft, nice touches right here. Then your mat and your church in the bay adjustable seat. It's actually 14 way because you have this part right here that are heated. You can get cold as a cold package is actually on the touring and the human models. So we're gonna go in here. It's actually really tight because the seats all the way back. So you know, I mean, this is the inside of it. Um, you get your station right here, and then when you So it has more of that, you know, growl to it, more outer growl to it. So you know what I mean? And then over here, you got your navigation system, you got your JBL system. It sounds good though, but the Mark Evanson beat it out in the Xs though, but you know what I mean? And then, um, what is he's on? So you know what I mean? Um, and then down here, you got your little cubby down here, and your wire chargers all down there too. So you know what I mean, and then you can put stuff within this another charge port. Then you got your do zone, got your action parking brake. You can put it, this one has a, it doesn't have adapted, it's more fixed. The Torin has adapted expansion system, but this one doesn't come with the adapted expansion. And over here, you got your little cubby, then you can put stuff right there. Then over here, you got, um, you can put stuff down there too. You got your USB port, your drop pod, and your USB So you can keep all your stuff charged. I got the seats in here. They never did anything to the seats except be a bit bolstered because the seats are very comfortable. Then over here, you got your, your sunroof and stuff like that to help, you know, I mean, with the sun. I mean, but you can't get no Pamrex sunroof though, but you can, this is an option, you know what I mean? You can tilt it to slide it. On the camera, you can get that. Um, then your SOS and then your LDI's right here too. Um, then over here, they shouldn't make either LDI or the X's do. You can get a power tilt and steering wheel on the Torrent and Limited models. 
and here's the key too, you know what I mean, that's the key, so you know what I mean, um, you can go up, this one has what Yexis have, the 2.0, brown spot, yang keep assist, yang tracing assist, it will keep you in your yang, um, it has that to cruise control, it has, um, it doesn't have the rear assist like Yexis has, but it do have crash traffic if you are wondering that. Um, so you know what I mean? Then it shows all your safety features right there. Um, it shows your radio what's playing. It shows your navigation and your, your yank keep assist if it wears out. It shows all these items right here. You can go shoot gas mileage and stuff like that. So it shows you your speed right there if you want to put your speed up. You have your automatic high high beams, your shrunk and your shot should control off. You can hold it down to this turn off the pre creation system, the um the disbit control and the traction control then when you press it again it turns it back on. And this is for your um thing you can higher up your display to make it more brighter. Um, you got your paddock control right here. So it's a pretty, it's a nice car. I think they should have just included a little bit more stuff for the muddy. Um, and yeah, the adapted LDIs and stuff. And then you got this mirror I see in the other Exorcist. Um, you can turn it off and stuff like that. So this is a pretty nice, nice car. Um, it doesn't have parking sensors. And that's the only thing what gripe me. Um, but you do, when you turn the wheel, the wheel, this yarn would turn, so it, it point you in the direction where you want to park the car, but it's kind of crazy, they should have offered parking, they should have offered parking senses, usually when it, it goes down, so you know what I mean, and I like the sauce, the sauce is more naughty, and then all the windows, it's soft touch. It feels very high quality in here. The um the mirrors in here. And the mirror the mirrors don't fold down though. That's the all you tend to should have made when the mirrors fold down. And it should have make automatic wipers too. You know what I mean? And then you got your cup holder right there. I don't see another cup holder. Oh you see one cup holder that's a bummer. Okay. Go ahead, Toyota. One more cup holder. And it's all nice and soft. It's nice, soft touch. The Yaxis, though, feels more high quality. Like you spend more money for the Yaxis. You know what I mean? Then, shoot here. You got your Android Auto. Um, you find more stuff in this one. You do the um, camera and the rest of them. Um, you know what I mean? You can cushion you all your you know, settings like that. Um, can go to your radio, um, can go back to your menu, you can turn off the heat seat because the heat seat's <laughs> You can go to your settings like that. So it all works like a touch screen. It's pretty fast, it's pretty responsive. Um, so you know what I mean, it's pretty, it was very responsive. You can put your like, stuff right there and it shows you the map. You can touch it like a touch screen. You can zoom all the way out. So you know what I mean. It's, it, it looks nice. It's very high quality. Um, it's very high quality resolution. It, it's kind of remind me of some of the Lexus products. But the Lexus bezel is more bigger. So this is a pretty nice size. And you get the JBL sound system too. My grandma has it in her Avion. And it sounds pretty decent. It sounds good. It is the job done pretty well and it shows you the traffic and stuff like that you can go shoot like um if you want to look for your let's see hold up if you want to look for your let's say you could for a destination you can type it in right here then you can press right here and stuff like that then you can say oh, go to this place right here then you just click over here and it does show the destination to the place you know what I mean how far is it so you know what I mean then it can show you like if you wanna you can talk into it too so you can 
so you can actually talk. Okay, show us up the nearest McDonald's. Well, <laughs> okay, so it puts it in here. I thought it would be like, okay, the nearest McDonald's. You know what I mean? So let's go back. So you know what I mean? And then you can call Yaki if you can. But down here has a nice see the soft touch button. Find the nearest McDonald's. So it's not saying anything. Sometimes it has it has to to yearn my voice though. And you can tap it where you want it to tap it. So you can sure show food braces and stuff in here too. So that's that's pretty of a nice option, you know what I mean? Um, so it's pretty, it's, I, I can hear, it's nice, it's soft touch, it's comfortable. The seats are very comfortable, I like the steering wheel. The steering wheel is very, very, very nice. Um, so we're going to go outside and see how, you know what I mean, the front is. So, this is the old side. I, the only gripe I have with these head amps, they, the LDs on this side, the LDs all wrong. But they're not the optional LDIT that on the um on the Torrent and the Limited, you know what I mean? And you know what I mean? And you can see, I can see the parking sensor is supposed to go in easy and stuff, but you don't have the parking sensor. And I like the grill too, but the grill is like enormous. It's like the grill you can like, if you park it next to something, it's gonna eat up the car. That's how the grill looks for real. So what I will rate this. I will rate this a buy it. Um, I will rate it a buy it and shout out of a Toyota Yantan. I put all the description stuff in the bottom. I will rate this a buy it and I will rate this a nine because it's yeah, ability is comfortable, sporty, and this one is very sporty. And yet, and Toyota try to do a sporty line of it too. So this is gonna ride a little bit more firmer your your usual Avion, sound a little bit more louder. You use out there, kind of have more of that bark to it, you know what I mean? So, it's it's to me, this one is nice if you want a full size car, you want a sporty car. If the tour model is not enough for you, if you want something more sporty, but don't think you're gonna come in this, you think this is gonna be your comfortable cruiser ride, you know what I mean? Um, this is gonna be more rougher bone the edges it's gonna be a more rougher album but I like the styling but I would go with the torn model because the torn model has a bold mix of luxury and comfort this is just how sport in mind you know what I mean so you know what I mean and then the seats are comfortable in all stream levels but I will the torn model that the cool seats and stuff like that so you know what I mean so I will rate this a buy it Yeast it if you want to use to see how it feels, just yeast it. But I will rate this a 9 because it's eye building, it's comfortable, it's big, it's practical. My grandma owned one of these. These stuff run forever, you know what I mean? So, you know, this is a nice car. And subscribe and a yike for more videos. I'll be back for more videos. And hit that bells button. Bye, y'all.